NASA struggling against the rest of the composition besides the NAR. I don't think yeah. that's any better, really, for the Maokai particularly. I think the Rel can also have issues here, too. So, Typically yeah. relied on Kanabi to do the ridiculous lead work uh, when he's had Lee Sin, when he's had Nidalee. When he is the person making all the big plays, the game speeds up. Besides that, and this is something Bushiji used to do in the past, from 2022 and before then, as well, when Yago was previously on the roster. They are very happy to chill and wait for their moment. And that was not the initial goal for this team. They came into summer saying, we want to dominate everything. It was very apparent in the, their earlier games. They were completely controlling the map, and Kanavi was ruthless. But trying to get those teeth uh, back into sharpened form here is JDG to try to take that step forward. And on the other side for Weibo, uh, we'll see if uh, Kanavi uh, oh, ends up yeah. getting the so dog bite down into him. As uh, that plant might not be long for the world, Stranglethorn going to come out. He didn't want to burn the flash, does indeed in the end. Does have the rest of JDG to come down, but it's going to be Bree that cleans up first blood. And now Lightning Crash from Xiaohu oh. going to go away from the fight. Bree <laughs> does not have any exit strategies, but does have Tarzan coming over as well. So we're gonna miss. I don't know. Is this fired off to the side? It goes over the wards. That's the big thing there, um, because when you're firing Ash Rise, you want to get bot side River Control to help with that. Nice little double headbutt pulverize coming out from missing. Not much to follow up on that one. We'll, we'll be getting the flash play out of Tarzan here to try to get missing down. They will end up getting that kill for light. And now it looks like it's all Weibo all day long. Ruler is nicely kiting though, but he's in a 1v3. Yagao is coming over as well. Oh. Ruler gonna flash. Ruler gonna get one. Ruler gonna get two. No, it's Yagao that gets it in the end as well. Though Xiaohu comes over and says, no, we are done with this. JD fall into the trap we put out for them. Sweet pointed that out a day or two ago. These early objective fights, if the wall is at your back and you don't have a mobile champion, it can be very dangerous. Weibo give up their position in the river. Tarzan coming down with Breed, light right behind him. Bullet time pocked up, ready to go. As uh, he did get a couple Ooh, trades Kanavi with those that. though. Kanavi getting five grubs total. Here's the TP coming in, re-engaged though. Weibo want to fight bullet time across Ooh. the pit. It's like fish in a barrel here. JDG being brought to task here. Nice little Meganar ulti from Flandre. But on the backside, Xiaohu tried to get a flank on the ruler, but he might have bitten off a little bit more than he could chew. Ultra Shock across onto two, but they do end up getting another kill for ruler. And Yagao still kicking for JDG. The Weibo will be happy for the most extent. This game so far, ruler. Because it's been a fact that a lot of those skirmishes. You oh, could argue Reeve as well as JDG will get this Dragon free. Weibo not really uh, in the position to contest it. In a reactionary game, vision control is a big deal. So uh, Ocean Soul definitely could play its part there. Did end up getting first turret there for JDG in the side lane. Yigao is going to have to walk his way over here if he wants to be a part of this I fight. But it is Weibo starting up the Rift Herald I think already. It's six grubs, Triforce, Corky, it's a cannon weight. That's, that's, yeah, that's yeah, huge. Right. There we yeah. go. Reef's got a teleport. Uh, happy with that chunk. All the Noel, I'd imagine, here from JDG. Yeah, but I love what JDG are doing here. They're just presenting multiple places to defend. So, I mean, BLG or BLG. That's necessarily <laughs> fair to say that. But I think looking at these two teams, one thing which I really respect is, again, this kind of this. Um, flowchart of macro trying to say, okay, I can pull you around the map like this. This allows me to get objectives in certain places. Weibo, they get themselves that mid lane turret. But again, the next step is there spreading the map. Flandre getting in top lane turret. There's never something being traded uncontested. Confident to step up in these fights and enable that approach velocity scaling there to catch anybody that might be out. Now, it is all the focus from JDG on mid lane. They're going to use those six rubs to take down another outer turret. This is a huge point because now you've taken down the outer ring of turrets. I think particularly Ash loves this. You get vision control across the other side of the map. You get to then fire those Ash arrows a lot more effectively out of Fog of War. And JDG are the slow kind of team where... You know the highest highs just last year, almost a year ago now, in that World Finals to having to scrap your way here into a final best of five to get a ticket there. Uh, it's a little rough as, uh, speaking of rough, Tarzan going to be poked down pretty heavily and uh, luckily gets a nice Nice little move Whoa. out, that's a huge bullet time! Light coming alive, and he's shining it oh, right on JDG! Beautiful play, but it is Xiaohu going over now with the double kill, maybe going down here himself. Blondre is looking for the big Meganar, but can't find it in the end, just trying to get out of there too. Weibo, they are scrappy, but they are here to play! And they're gonna get the lockdown on Blondre yet again, and Light comes up clutch. Weibo find the snap engage, you could call it clean, I'd prefer to call it crisp. Gets them over the wall, the vision Control, control was kind of skipped a little bit. Uh -oh. <laughs> now Chris, sadly gonna fall. What is up hey, with you, Caster? 
curse I'm people. I'm sorry, today. Chris, but hey, he That's made the, the great play before it. <laughs> yeah, Weibo, they choose to just split the map again. And I think they've just seen in the last couple of minutes, yeah, it's kind of hard to fight back from this ring of turrets being yeah. down. Let's try and answer by getting some extra turrets around the place too. Shao, who teleports towards top side and is trying to push that in. He's not going to cleanly get this, I don't think. Flandre, pretty hard to take down with his flash. no armor. But Xiaohu isn't two items, with Chris Pitwell missing there as well. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of people here. A, and Light's joining the party as well. Where's the Ash oh, Arrow? Flandre, he can't get Magnar just yet. Trying to build it up here. Missing, trying to buy a lot of time for him. But this is a five-man play from Weibo on top side. Light gets another one. The turret's going to fall in line. Flandre left out in the dust. A preemptive play from Weibo, and it ends up paying up big. Yeah. Does end up catching out Chris. Kanavi is in there, oh. but the pull is going to come through from Weibo. They really want Chris to get an engage. 5,000 health on the Baron. Is it just going to be a 50-50? Chris going down to Ruler. Kanavi's in the pit. He's getting burned down, though. Big chance of Crystal Arrow, but it's already Kanavi gone. Baron oh, secured oh, by no, Weibo, oh, no. but here comes JDG. Ruler might have overextended. Tarzan himself, though. Nice engage, but the Magnastorm goes a little bit wide for Chris. Oh, and JDG, they're cleaning house. You might have gotten those purple capes, but they are torn to Right. I mean, for JDG, it's just about Ruler and Yagao. Clean Baron, if they've been oh. able to get themselves so much value out of the last few plays where they kind of broke JDG's map control. This, this series has been a game of the front line of the junglers taking one of the shoulder for the carries to really start picking up the slack. As is tradition in the LPL, I feel like we got to get the spotlight on the right players here. Where Weibo are going to feel a lot more confident in these 5v5s, and it's going to all be about the little interactions between the two. JDG start up the dragon already, burning it down. Weibo are surrounding them like sharks. 3,000 health down. Now Chris goes in, big engage. It is secured by Kanavi, but in the end, JDG going to fight their way out of this one. Kanavi separating the fight with the Stranglethorn. Fareed's going to have to flash his way out. There is nobody falling, but everybody's got a bloody lip here, and Weibo do not want to let them walk away. Oh, oh he hits on a Tarzan. Give Ruler the sticks, man. And now Weibo do end up taking back their lives. About half health. Weibo with Breathe on the side, maybe looking for a little bit of a drawing the bin. Chris found a big engage, but actually just goes right back over on Yagao, who's going to flash away. Now Kanavi goes gold, and Ruler is there trying to take down Breathe. He does indeed. Now Weibo, they're in a little bit of trouble now. Meganar is going to fall for Flandre, though, and he needs to get out of there. Xiaohu wants to step up against him, but it is going to just turn into a 4v4 in mid. Yep. Weibo try to rejoin the ranks here is Xiaohu. Half health on the dragon once again. Kanavi and Tarzan point and present. Who's going to get the better smite? Nature's Grass comes across. It's going to oh, go the way of the light. Of course it does. As JDG try to find a fight after rule. He's going to flash away to his death. And Weibo come up big again. Light remains the shining piece for this team. So Ruler was delaying Bree from entering the fight. And I wonder how much of an impact that actually has on the engaged. They just have to get him into a position where he can open up. And even though he's that big damage dealer, like he's still two and a half thousand gold behind Light. Light is just so godlike in this game. 7 1 7 oh. arrow! Oh, they got Xiaohu, and he's right back to it. Xiaohu is gone. Major damage dealer out for Weibo. So much power to be the leading force for JDG. It comes up paying dividends here. They do take a tier 2 tower in mid lane as well. Side Weibo, and they're now looking for the top side engage coming in from Tarzan. They do end up getting it. Nicely done with that ancient grass across. They'll get that tier 2 tower. That's exactly what they came for here. And this time, it will not be a negative Baron power play, as they is indeed Xiaohu the primary factor in that, doing about half its health already. Oh. JDG feeling hesitant. They don't get the combo. They're on a crisp. And now Weibo, I mean, they feel super confident to step up. Flandre is in Meganar. Teleport a little wanna... bit less, but here's the flank. As it's oh, going to be Breathe looking Yigao. big one. Yagao is caught out, going to Valkyrie away. Here comes the Nature's Grass yet again. Weibo, they are just pushing the buttons of JDG here. Missing. He's getting lower and lower as the sun is starting to set a chance. The Crystal Arrow goes wide. And Weibo, it looks like they're playing mind games right now with Ruler. JDG. Ruler's all by himself now as well. Will not fall to the Ultra Shock laser, but Chris goes back in for the engage. Now Kanavi going golden. Flandre nowhere near Meganar. And Weibo wiped the floor with JDG. Dong Gaming. It all goes right. There's just not enough damage returned by JDG on the opposite side of the map. Insane damage from Xiaohu and Light. Rule oh, no more. Oh my god! He just shut them all up and zipped their mouth closed. Now Tarzan. Oh, that sapling. Maybe it's not enough. He oh, wants it. The approach velocity. No, he goes back in. Oh my god, he's got the fight. He's got the fight. Ruler! You can't.
keep doing it, but it doesn't matter because Weibo finishing the game and they do not want to go quietly as they step up to two and one. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LPL Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.